today's video is a double Chanel haul and unboxing video. So last month I purchased two new pairs of shoes from Chanel. One is from their permanent collection and the second one is from the spring summer 2022 pre collection. So in today's video I'm going to unbox both of these with you guys. As usual I'm going to try and share heaps of details and visuals for you as well. So we'll have a look at the design, the material, I'll also share some thoughts on sizing and I'm going to be also sharing a lookbook. So I think apart from actually unboxing shoes, one of the most fun things about them is actually creating outfits and styling them in different ways. So stick around and I'd love to get your feedback on which outfits you think look the best. I'm going to start off with unboxing the pair of shoes which is part of Chanel's Spring Summer 2022 pre-collection and if you're not familiar with um, Chanel then essentially anything that is seasonal, part of their seasonal collections doesn't really get reissued. So it's not part of the permanent collection. If you do see something that you really like, then it's probably best to pick it up because it's unlikely that it's going to be available in store again. So this pair of shoes, I actually had my eye on in a different colorway and I didn't know that there were multiple colors available, or specifically this one that I ended up getting. However, when I saw this color in store, I just instantly knew that this was going to be the right one for me. So inside, as usual, we've got all of these sort of little inserts, the care instructions and the Chanel shoe bags. So we've got the Chanel sticker there and just unboxing and we have a pair of quilted mule sandals. So I'll get these out so you guys can see them properly. This is what they look like. They've got a sort of cone shaped heel. It's only very like a little small block heel and then we've got the Chanel logo on the soles and that's what it looks like on the soles there. So super, super cute. They've obviously got the gold Chanel logo on the outer side on the front as well. And initially I tried on a pair of sort of light lilac pink in store, um, probably towards the end of January. And I knew that they had the light blue pair online along with a yellow pair. So. I really was planning to get these in the light blue pair, however when I went in store um, probably towards I think mid-February or late February, I saw that they had the white ones and instantly I knew that these were definitely going to be the pair for me. I just knew that white was going to work in seamlessly with essentially any spring or summer outfit that I would be able to create, at least compared to the blue. I still think that the blue color is absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favorite colors, but white was just gonna be abundantly easier to style for me. So I absolutely love these. I actually did need a pair of mules because I don't have any mules in my shoe wardrobe at the moment. So this was something that was definitely missing. I really love the fact that this incorporates the sort of um, quilted, lambskin effect. It's a signature component of Chanel and Chanel style when we think of like the quilted lambskin on the flat bags and this is actually made of lambskin here so the material is just super super soft. We've got lambskin on the heel there as well. Um, I will put the heel measurements on screen so you guys can see. These I think are perfect, especially for spring summer because they're a little heel. It's a block heel, so obviously gonna be a lot more stable compared to a stiletto heel. And in terms of sizing, I ended up getting these in a size 36. I'm not sure if that's gonna show up on camera. So I am usually a 36 and a half, but I can sometimes go down to a 36. These are definitely true to size. I obviously haven't worn them out as yet. I am planning on wearing these tomorrow because I'm heading out. So I'll see how I go, but I mean, because of the style, it's a mule, so you don't need to worry about sort of um, breaking the middle or getting blisters on the backs of your feet, which is awesome. But yeah, I just thought these were just such a really cute and very feminine pair of shoes. 
that I know I'm going to be able to wear a lot over the years and I have always wanted to have a pair of Chanel sandals in my shoe wardrobe so really happy that I've got these in terms of outfits the outfit that I think I'm going to wear tomorrow, I want to wear these with a pair of pink cropped trousers that I have. Um, if you've subscribed to my channel, you guys might know that I had a pair of pink trousers that I really didn't wear a lot last year. Um, so I am trying to get a lot more wear out of them and I think that these shoes were working perfectly with those and um, probably a white t-shirt as well. I think it's just a sort of simple casual but chic look um, that I can wear tomorrow. And another outfit I think that might work well with these is I've got a white linen dress from Zimmerman. And this is a dress that was probably one of my best buys <laughs> during the past summer. And I just think that pairing these little sandals with that dress would be a really cute look that would definitely work. Excuse the fact that I haven't fake tanned. It's now the start of autumn here in Sydney and I really couldn't have been bothered fake tanning last night. Um, but yeah, I think obviously with the tan, the white linen dress and the sandals would be a really lovely summer look. Um, they do come in different colours as I mentioned, so there's light blue, there's a really sort of beautiful summery buttery yellow colour, there was a pink coral colour in store back in January and obviously the lilac pink colour that I tried on and white as well. I'm not sure if there are other colours but just really beautiful pastel shades which I think is lovely for a type of shoe design like these. So for the second pair of shoes which I picked up, now I actually got these around, would have been the Chinese Lunar New Year. So possibly the start or mid-February, I can't remember. And that's why we've sort of got the red and gold ribbon here in terms of the packaging because the Christmas packaging was black and gold. Um, so it was nice that they did sort of the, the red and gold um, packaging to celebrate Chinese New Year. I thought that was really nice. So this pair of shoes that I'm going to be unboxing is part of Chanel's permanent footwear collection. So you can get this anytime during the year. So obviously we've got the, the beautiful black and gold camellia with the red and gold ribbon there. And I think that if you are someone who wants to start um, you know, looking into purchasing footwear from Chanel and you're not sure which type of um, shoes to purchase first, this would definitely be the pair I would recommend to anyone um, to start off with. It was the first pair of shoes that I ever purchased from Chanel, um, so I highly recommend them. So obviously we've got the little packaging there with the sticker, so it'll probably come as no surprise. So I did get a pair of the ballet flats. So, a bit of a story with these and why I needed to repurchase them. First off, I'll just show you guys, that's what they look like, fresh out of the box. So beautiful. So these are made of lambskin leather and the stitching around the side of the shoes are really, really soft. I didn't have any breaking in period when it came to my previous pair of flats. However, I have had issues with the sizing. So I ended up getting these in a size 36 and a half and the previous pair of these I had in a size 36, so a half size down. And although the shoes do stretch because the leather is super soft and it will give after a few wears, I found that in terms of the length, the, sh the size 36 shoe um, was too small for me. So my toes really bunched up and hitting the top of the, the cap toe there. I decided to size up a half size and get these however when I just wear these on on their own like this I do actually slip out of them so when I use a pair of half leather insoles um, these actually just make a little bit less room but I'm not slipping out of them yet I've still got enough room at the top if that makes sense so if you are finding that you struggle with the sizing even with other types of shoes as well, if you've got shoes that sort of you slip out a little bit but they're a good fit at the top, then I'd suggest looking into getting a pair of leather insoles, whether that's a full leather insole or a half one like this, it can really make a difference. 
These are a pair of shoes which I think are just so incredibly versatile. The other pair that I had I wore to work, I wore on the weekend, I wore whilst I was travelling. They really do go with so many different outfits and I think that that's just a, another testament as to why these are such an iconic, versatile and much loved pair of shoes. So in terms of outfits, I'm going to show you guys two outfits, one which I think is really office appropriate. So this is definitely um, an outfit that I would wear, including these ballet flats. So just a pair of black pleated paper bag waist trousers with a simple white cotton shirt. I think that the black and white is such a striking combination and of course the ballet flats give a little point of interest to an otherwise very simple chic outfit. For outfit number two, I wanted to create something which was an outfit that I could wear easily on the weekend or any off-duty days. So I've tried to keep it fairly relaxed and navy is one of my favourite colours. So I've got a navy top on which is really feminine with the scallop detail on the neckline and the sleeves and then just a simple pair of blue jeans. And I think that the ballet flats again just create a little bit of a point of interest. I've tried to keep the number of colours in this outfit to three as well, just like I did with the first outfit, because I find that if you have too many colours going on in an outfit, it can look a little bit overwhelming, and because I am so petite, I definitely need to make sure that there's not too much going on. There's a couple of other pairs of shoes from Chanel's Spring Summer 2022 collection, which I think are really sweet. So the first one that I like is a pair of sandals. These are flat ones and they've got a sort of really lovely braided effect with the gold CC logo. I really like them in the beige colorway. And the other pair that I think were gonna be really popular and that look really fun are a pair of the block heeled sandals with the logo on them and they come in a rainbow of different colors. I think that the light pink and the white look really nice however because I've already picked these ones up and these are the style that I was after I'm going to be quite content to stick with these ones but they definitely have quite a few different beautiful pairs of shoes out there in their footwear selection for spring and summer. I'd love to hear what you guys think about the two new pairs that I picked up last month. Let me know what you guys think. If you want me to do a review on these, I'm more than happy to do that. I might um, share some more close-up photos and details on my blog. If you haven't checked out my website, I will leave the address here. It's basically my name, so laurengraceharding.com, and I do share product reviews and my thoughts on different things things that I'm loving when it comes to style and a lifestyle so check it out if you want to. If you did enjoy today's video then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that lets me know that you liked it. I hope you guys are all keeping well and having an amazing weekend and I'll see you next weekend with a brand new video. Bye!